The burnt, twisted, bomb-shattered remains of a rush hour bus in Volgograd. Many of the passengers died almost instantly when a suicide bomber blew himself up as the people around him headed to work or for a bit of last minute shopping before the big New Year celebrations. A state of emergency has been declared in the city after what was the second bombing in less than 24 hours. Yesterday, at least one other suicide bomber attacked the city's main railway station, killing 17 people. The widespread assumption is that the explosions are linked to the Islamist insurgency against Russian rule in the nearby Caucasus republics and that the attacks are timed to coincide with the build-up to February's Winter Olympics. Two suicide bombs in two days mean that the Kremlin now has a problem. President Putin is going to have to move fast to reassure the Russian public that he can keep them safe and to reassure the international community that he can secure the Sochi Winter Olympics, which begin in less than six weeks' time. President Putin has insisted that the Winter Olympics will be safe, and today the International Olympic Committee said it had no doubt that the Russian authorities will be up to the task. It's most likely that the bombs are the work of Islamists from the nearby Caucasus republics of Chechnya and Dagestan, and the Olympics are the perfect platform for them to use violence to undermine the Russian government and President Putin. Daniel Sandford, BBC News, Moscow.